I'd like to make an observation, something I've been thinking about. Uh, I have access to the world's most valuable commodity, and yet very few people want it. You say, what are you talking about? Uh, gold, silver, precious stones, platinum, palladium, Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, no, actually, eternal life. Uh, salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ and access to absolute truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. Okay? Um, all truth comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. You say, very few people want that? Yeah. The real true Jesus Christ, very few people want it. And um, you say, why would that be? Well, in economics it would be called market saturation. Okay? Uh, what's that mean? That means that uh, the market, so to speak, I'm not saying that the gospel is something that's a commodity or something, I'm just simply saying, trying to prove a point here, the market for the gospel being preached is saturated. There's too many people. The supply is too high. When you have high supply, there's very low demand. Um, and the fact of the matter is, the scammers that are in the gospel market uh, the church buildings and whatnot, um, they really kind of diminish the quality of the real gospel. Uh, they have come out and they have perverted it. They have perverted the scriptures to the point where you have people that think that they're saved or that they understand the gospel, they understand Jesus, and they're using cursed versions, new versions that change the word of God and had actually make Jesus into a liar and make Jesus into someone that you're supposed to reject, um, literally. I'll be coming out with some more information on that in the future. But, you know, though, it's just insane. These practices that the modern churches are doing, modern Christians and whatever else, um, they wouldn't have been accepted by anybody, even lost people 100 years ago, um, wouldn't accept what modern churches are doing. So... Uh, you say, well then, okay, how do we correct the gospel market? Well, very simple. Economics 101 here, um, and that is uh, when you have high supply, low demand, something has to happen that diminishes the supply and then increases the demand. So you say, what would that be? Oh, I don't know, maybe some really hard times coming, some really bad times coming that would... Uh, start to change things and uh, I'm praying for that I'm hoping for that I'm getting really sick and tired of seeing the abomination that is modern Christianity and I can't wait to see God's judgment on it and we all need to pray towards those ends and um, never succumb to the temptation to uh, lower the quality of the gospel uh, we should never do that um, the gospel is not supposed to change uh, to fit the lost world or to make it more exciting or something like that. You know, it's kind of like the thing of ketchup. You know, when I was a boy, there was ketchup in the store. Now you have all the different varieties of ketchup and different colors of ketchup. And you have, you know, <laughs> I remember when uh, peanut butter, and you know, also it was Jiffy peanut butter when I was a boy back in the you know, late 70s, early 80s, and, you know, 1970s. I'm saying to the really young viewers out there, um, might not know what I meant by that. But peanut butter was peanut butter. And then I remember the shocking time came when they had uh, peanut butter and jelly swirled together or something, and you could buy it in a jar, and wow, that's really revolutionary. And now there's so many different types of peanut butter and whatever, it just makes your head spin. Why? Well, because there's a... The market for peanut butter, they had to increase it. If demand starts to go down, then you start to diversify. Well, you can't do that when you're a Christian. You can't diversify the uh, gospel market, so to speak. Um, the gospel is not supposed to be changed or updated to be more palatable to the modern world. So, <laughs> just wanted to say that. Um, I know it's frustrating for people. Uh, you know, that you want to see people get saved. Um, and if the demand isn't there, it's just not there. People don't need Jesus right now. Uh, 
they still think that times are good. Uh, $30 trillion debt that's admitted here in America. Um, all the different stuff that's going on, the chaos, the... I mean, this, this country is so finished. I mean, just look at our president. <laughs> you know, if people even think the guy's a president, I mean, the guy can barely string two sentences together. Um, it's insane. But he's a reflection of the people. Uh, Joe Biden is just as crazy as the people. So, but uh, that'll be it for my little rant here this morning. Just something I've been thinking about. Uh, so, I guess that'll be it. Um, don't be tempted to change the gospel. I guess that's the moral of the story here, moral of the video. Uh, we can't update the gospel and uh, change it to uh, help the market out or something like this. Can't do that. Uh, stand by the word. Brethren, the King James Bible, the King Jesus version. If you want to watch those videos, uh, stand by it. Don't ever change. Don't ever compromise on that. That's going to be it. We'll see you in the next video.